Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here and I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to talk about tonight is a real quick way to move unified devices from site to site within a controller um, without factory defaulting the device and re-adopting or without running, a, I suppose you could do, might be able to do the migration wizard. It'd be kind of weird to do the migration wizard on the same controller. Never tried it, but I've seen a lot of people factory default devices, and you don't have to do it. Now, I think that there is a little bit of a problem with the menu, and maybe they could uh, they could fix it. But you know, let's uh, let's hop into it here. So we've got our Unify 5.9.24. Now this is the beta controller, but uh, this process is going to work the same whether you're in the beta controller or whether you are in a controller all the way to the five, you know, back to the 5.6, early 5.6 uh, release. So you can follow along with this. So let's log into our beta controller here. All right, as you can see, this is Unify 5.9.24, and it looks a little bit different than what you're used to right now on the 5.6, 5.7, and even the 5.8 release line and I think it looks great they are making great strides with the unify controller software and you can see that that they're starting to call this you know the unify SDN and so you're gonna see this this branding um, but it it is a becoming a fancy piece of software we still don't have multiple WAN IPs on the USG but we've got this slick looking piece of software here. So right now we are on the Willy House site and if we go over to devices we can see we've got a switch and two APs. But if you remember right we set up the PIA only. Now what we're going to do is without factory defaulting this we are going to move this access point over to the Willy House site. When we do that, it will forget all of the SSIDs that it already knows. So if we pull up the config for this and we go down to WLANs, you can see it's got the PIA configuration that we put on it. When we move this, it's going to get rid of the PIA configuration and it is going to take up the configuration from whichever site it gets adopted into. And we are going to move this over to Willy How. Now the easy way to do this is to go down to Manage Device and down here where you would normally forget the device, there's actually an option. And I think this should actually be on its own section because I think this is a little bit confusing. So we're going to drop this down. We're going to select Willy How. It's going to come up. It's going to warn us about that, the reconfiguration of the access point. We're going to hit confirm. And look, like it, like magic, it automatically pulled the AP out and moved it over to Willy House. So you see it's disconnected right now. It's just going through a little access point crisis. It's not like a midlife crisis. It's just an access point crisis. And now you can see it's provisioning. And when it is done provisioning, it will have the FBI van and the disabled kids SSID. So that's it. No need to break out the paperclip. No need to do anything crazy. No need to factory default. If you need to move you know from site to site and this is common so I keep hardware here and if somebody's in an emergency and they need it uh, I can uh, simply take it uh, from one of my controllers because this will work on any controller now if you're going from controller to controller you're gonna have to run the migration wizard so this is for uh, moving devices from site to site on the same controller but if you're like me and you keep extra gear on your live controller you can take it you can move it to the customer site and then you can take the hardware over there and you're done. So that's it. It's really that simple. Go ahead and play around with that. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget that the uh, H5 merchandise is now available. The link's down there and 50% of all merchandise proceeds do go to charity. If you need IT consulting for voice over IP, security, networking, programming, all that good stuff, we can help you out. And if we can't, We'll get you to somebody who can. You can go to h5llc.com down there, fill out the contact form, and somebody will contact you as soon as possible. If you want to talk to us live on Discord, the link's down there. Come on over, say hi. If you want to purchase any of the gear you see here on the channel, we do have that Amazon link down below. Once again, I do appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next video.